BMW's EV efforts have, to put it gently, all been a little bit odd. Vehicles like the i3, i4, and iX have all been very, very good to drive, but in my humble opinion, their odd styling or unusual form factors have limited their appeal in some cases. That will not be a problem with BMW's latest EV. This is the 2024 i5, and BMW is finally taking its best sedan, the 5 Series, and going electric. We're here in Lake Como, Italy at the Concorso de Eleganza Villa Desta and taking our first look at the all new BMW i5. Before we dig into the i5, do me and yourself a favor and follow the Inside EV's YouTube channel. I promise there will be many more first looks, range tests, and other videos that you'll enjoy. And if you enjoy this video, give us a like. I'll appreciate it. Now, back to the action. Right away, it's clear BMW has reined itself in with the new i5, which is visually identical to the 8th generation gas-powered 5 series. But after speaking to BMW designers yesterday, they told me it is not in response to any negative reaction to the brand's other, more polarizing designs, like the XM and 7 series. The company did pen what its designers are calling the most elegant BMW ever, though. So what do we think? Immediately apparent is the more restrained kidney grille, which BMW says was inspired by the shark nose look of classic 5 series models. Adrian van Hoydunk, the global boss of all BMW Group design, told me yesterday that he thinks the horizontal grille is a sportier design, while the vertical orientation seen on the i4 and iX has more presence. I just flat out like the horizontal look more though. At the front, we have these more sculpted headlights with these vertical LED accents. That's quite a change. It's a far cry from the angel eyes of BMWs of old, but it gives the entire car the sensation of more height. And that's very important as we come around to the side because this is the tallest BMW 5 Series ever. And that's thanks to the battery pack, which BMW is cleverly hidden behind this black gloss plastic. It reduces some of the visual mass and makes it appear not quite as tall. But I'm six feet two inches tall, and this is at my shoulder level. So this is definitely a taller sedan than before. And at the back, there is a more restrained sculpted tail with fresher taillights and a very perilously short deck lid. I'm actually a really big fan of this, but I don't love that the black border continues around the bottom of the car at the back. It's a little bit too fussy for my taste. Thankfully, the gas-powered car doesn't quite go that far. In the cabin, the first thing that you're going to see is this almost squircular steering wheel, which is pretty much straight from the iX. I really like this piece. And on the M60 model, you get this sporty red stripe and a thicker rim. This is very cool. And like other new BMWs lately, there is a single piece curved display with a 12.3 inch digital cluster and a 14.9 inch touchscreen. And in terms of design, there's a lot of inspiration from the 7 series here. You have the same ambient light bar that kind of runs all around the front of the car and that changes color based on the situation. There's also these nice sculpted speaker grills and in this M60, plenty of carbon fiber. In general though, this is a very clean interior. It's, it's a far cry from BMWs of old where there was a lot of material contrast in terms of the dash and on the doors. This is simpler, cleaner, and in this car, loaded with leather. It is a very, very nice place to spend some time. BMW will only offer the i5 in two forms to start, but as we've seen with the company's other all-electric offerings, it's highly likely the range will expand in the years to come. For now though, the rear drive eDrive 40 serves as the base model, with a lone electric motor on the back axle, good for 335 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. Although with a curb weight of 4,916 pounds, the standard i5 won't be too sprightly. The Sprint to 60, for example, takes 5.7 seconds, or just two-tenths of a tick ahead of the gas-powered rear drive 530i. There's a substantial gulf between the eDrive 40 and the high performance M60 with the latter's twin motors producing a total output of 590 horsepower and 586 pound-feet of torque. 60 miles per hour arrives in a lickety split 3.7 seconds but BMW is introducing some new ways to manage that performance. A new boost paddle on the left spoke of the steering wheel standard on the M60 and optional on the eDrive 40 as part of the M Sport package activates the sport boost mode which temporarily temporarily increases torque output to 317 pound-feet on the single motor model and 605 pound-feet on the M60 and also activates a sport sound mode for the Hans Zimmer sourced synthetic powertrain noise. Importantly, BMW claims this system will provide the added torque continuously, which should make for entertaining acceleration at and above normal highway speeds. Too often in EVs, the acceleration feels less impressive at highway speeds than it does around town. And while it's not a new thing for BMW, it's worth noting motors in both i5s get by without the use of magnets. 
minimizing the car's overall need for rare earth metals. Beyond the straight line punch, the i5 M60 brings in active roll stabilization as a late availability item. It uses a 48 volt electric motor in place of traditional anti-roll bars for flatter, sharper handling. The standard adaptive M suspension professional includes adaptive dampers, rear axle steering with up to 2.5 degrees of turn, and drops the ride height by three tenths of an inch over the E-Drive 40. We don't know what the i5 M60 will be like to drive, but it certainly has the hardware to mitigate its 5,247 pound curb weight. While BMW is offering the i5 with either a single rear axle motor or dual motors, every example will come with an 84.3 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. It's good for 295 miles of range in the E-Drive 40 or 256 and the M60. Both cars carry an 11 kilowatt onboard charger and can gulp electrons at a DC fast charger at a peak rate of 205 kilowatts. BMW claims going from 10 to 80% takes 30 minutes, which is pretty helpful considering every i5 comes with two years of free DC fast charging in 30 minute chunks at Electrify America stations. If you can't make it to one of those stations though, the i5 comes with a new max range drive mode, which limits the top speed to 56 miles per hour and cuts out the climate control functions to make limping to a working charger easier. And once you're at the charging station, the i5 comes with a novel way to pass the time. Air Console allows drivers and passengers to stream games to the center touchscreen with smartphones serving as controllers. These games are more of the mobile variety, so anyone hoping to play Zelda Tears of the Kingdom with their car and smartphone rather than a Nintendo Switch are out of luck. But Air Console does make for a pretty compelling option to wait for the DC charger to do its thing. BMW will begin production of the 2024 i5 and 5 series in October of 2023. The base gas-powered car, the 530e, will start at about $58,000, whereas the base electric model, the i5 eDrive 40, with its 295-mile range, will ring up at about $68,000. That's not a huge premium. As for the high-performance M60 shown here, that's going to go for closer to $85,000. For the full write-up on the i5, be sure to head over to InsideEVs.com and stay tuned for much, much more on this new all-electric BMW.